right. Shalom. It's the brothers from the GMS North Carolina camp. Back with another lesson. GMS uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm Brother Nakwam. Brother Azar. Brother Nakam. All right. Before we get started, we want to give all honor and glory and praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son. Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone for teaching us His truth according to the Bible and in Ruel. And peace, blessings, and safety, and mercy to the Yaqims out there pushing the truth from the four corners of the earth. All right. The name of this lesson is going to be called The Fear of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Gives you wisdom, man. You know? So without further ado, we're going to start out with some scriptures. You know, we're going to flow right through the spirit. We don't really have nothing in the, in the alphabetical order. All right, I got something. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. Right. And it reads, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Right. Having the fear of your high by Shimei is that's how you get the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, man. Fearing those names, man. You know, and doing what the scripture tells you to do. That's how you get more wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, and it's also the beginning of it. You know, that's how we all started out in this thing. Once we learned the names of the Lord, man, we started fearing those names, and then we be, we began to get the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures. You know, so the scripture says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of the knowledge. A knowledge of what? Of the scriptures, man. Of the 1611 King James Bible. You know, buddy. Oh, what was you doing? Um, uh, I got definition of fear. Oh. Okay, this definition of fear, mm -hmm. it says to be, it says, it reads to be afraid of someone mm -hmm. or something as likely to be dangerous, mm -hmm. painful, or threatening. Right, and that's your Abba Shimon Shah all day. He's the king of terrors, man. You know? So, like the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone persuaded us to the terror of the Lord, we go out there on the highways and hedges and we do the same thing to compel the people to come to, the, come to the, this marriage, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Because why? Because that's the fear of the Lord, man. We read the scriptures and we're gonna and we read the judgment what's gonna happen to our people if they don't repent, you know, and those that do repent, fear the Lord, man. You know, but the rest of these people are gonna die because they don't fear the Lord. That's you right. Know? You know, buddy. This is Proverbs one seven mm -hmm. and it reads, But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Right, fools, man, blockheads, idiots. You know what I'm saying? Dunce. Meatballs. Meatballs. <laughs> Morons, man. And that's the two-thirds of our people all day long. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And you confusion their faces, man. You are the biblical Hebrew Israelites, man. You are that rebellious house that the scripture refers to, man. You know? You despise the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of this Bible, man. Every time, every week that we go out there on the highways and hedges and do these lessons, man, we always got some type of scoffer or scorn and go out there scoffing at the videos or the brothers out there on the highways and hedges, you know? So, two thirds of our people hate the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, man. Why? Because it condemns their lifestyle, you know? But the fear of the Lord is where the wisdom and knowledge and understanding comes in, you know? Mm. This is um, Psalms chapter 25, verse 14. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. Right, and that's the prophets. That's the servants, the prophets that it's talking about, man. Which is the the hopeful elect, man. You know, we're the hopeful elect, you know. But Lord's willing we be of that number. And the secrets are with us, man. Starting off with our apostles of and it was a great millstone on down, man. We have the secrets and the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the Bible, man. Why? Because the Lord revealed it to us, man. Because we fear him. That's Are you? right. Oh, oh, oh. You got you get what you got? No, I'm going to keep reading. Oh, right. And I got another person. You got, let yeah, me know. I got one. What you got? I got one so far. Right. Okay. I'll read this one. You marry your precept, bro. Okay. This is Psalm chapter 25, verse 14. And it reads, The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, mm -hmm. and he will show them his covenant. Right, man. See? And that goes in with Amos 3 and 7, man. Surely the Lord power will do nothing but reveal his secret unto his servants, the prophets, man. That's who fears him, man, in sincerity and in truth, man. You know, because you're gonna have so called Israelites, I mean, Israelites are gonna come into this truth but fall out, man, because they wasn't sincere about fearing the Lord, man. So, those that sincerely fear the Lord is gonna always have his secret, man, you know, from this time and the time to come, you know. We're gonna have the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures now, and we, Lord's will, we're gonna have the wisdom and knowledge and understanding during the time of Jacob's trouble, man, when it really is gonna kick in, when we're really gonna need it, you know. So, what you got there, Nicole? This is Job chapter 28, verse 28. And unto man, he said, Behold, the fear of Yahweh, that is wisdom. Right, see? That's that's another precept for the for the brother Azapur, man. 
from Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, man. You know, see, fearing Yahweh by Shimei and Shah, that's the wisest thing to do, man. Because why? Because Yahweh by Shimei and Shah can jack you up, man. You seeing what Yahweh by Shimei and Shah is doing to these people on the news, man? Having these people get shot up, stabbed, these women raped, you know what I'm saying? You know, murdered, butchered, gutted, you know? It's, it's wise to fear Yahweh by Shimei and Shah, man. You know, and do what he tells you to do. Hey, right, quick one real oh, quick. Okay, this is Sirach 18 27. A wise man will fear in everything, mm. and in the day of sinning, he will beware of offense, mm -hmm. but a fool will not observe time. Right, he's gonna, uh, a wise man is gonna wear of offense, man. He's not, he's just not gonna sincerely go off, man. Mm -hmm. You know, intentionally. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But fools, which is two thirds of our people, when we go, he's gonna continue to do it, man, even though the prophets are telling him not to do it, man. Yep. You know, that's why two thirds of our people are going to be destroyed. It's going to be a just destruction for the two thirds of our people because they didn't want to hearken to the words of the Lord, which is this Bible, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that was just back then when you said, you oh, know, yeah. a wise man will, will um, it would be a wise thing mm -hmm. to fear the Lord, you know, right? That's right. Read on the come, Kind Bible of Kusha. Job chapter 28, verse 28, mm -hmm. from the top again. And unto man, he said, Behold, the fear of Yahweh. That is wisdom. Right. He said unto man. And what man is it talking about? It's talking about you Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And you confusion their faces who are the other nations but are Israelites, man. That's who the Lord is talking to, man, through Job, man. You know? He said the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, man. Why? Because Yahweh by Shema Shah is our power, man. So it's it's the wise thing for us to not to go off, man. Willfully, as I should say. You know, brother. On. And to depart from evil is understanding. Mm -hmm. How do you depart from evil, man? By getting cleansed by this word. By coming back to your nationality, man. By fearing the names of Yahweh, by Shem Shah, and increasing the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of this truth, man. To the best of your ability. To the best of your strength. You got something, Isaiah? Yeah. Is that it, brother? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is uh, Sirach 19 and 24. Mm -hmm. He that have small understanding and fear of the Most High, it's better than one that have much wisdom and transgressive the law of the Most High. That's a bad scripture right there, man. See, a person that fears Yahweh by Shimei and Shah a lot is way better than somebody who knows a lot of knowledge but don't fear Yahweh by Shimei and Shah at all, man. And we had a lot, a lot of fallouts in this truth that were so-called elders, you know what I'm saying, that knew a lot, but they, they didn't fear Yahweh by Shimei and Shah sincerely, man. So a man that just came in the truth, it has a lot of fear of Yahweh by Shema Shah is way better than an elder that's that's not fear of Yahweh by Shema Shah but has a lot of knowledge, man. Mm -hmm. You know, way better. You know, it's better to fear of Yahweh by Shema Shah and have a little wisdom, like the scripture says, than that know a lot and, and not fear him at all. Yeah, and trust your soul. Right, man. Doing wicked stuff, man. Doing all type of matter of evil against your brother, man. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. You know, so brothers just coming in, don't be all, you know down because you don't know as much as the mm -hmm. next guy you know it's better to have little understanding and to fear the most high you know that's, that's what's right. important that's right you know to take what the uh, take the knowledge understanding that the lord gave you and run with it you know and just to continue and fear him you know scripture say they that fear the lord would not disobey his word right you know they that love him will keep his ways you know that's what's important fearing the lord you know you can't go wrong in fearing the lord right man you know the scripture says lay up his treasures in heaven man so the talent that the Lord gave you, man, you're supposed to go out there and flip it, man. You know, whether it's one, whether it's, what is it, three, or whether it's five, man. Mm -hmm. You know? A right, quick one. This is um, Sirach 1 and thir 13. Whoso feareth the Lord, it shall go well with him at the last, mm -hmm. and he shall find favor in the day of his death. Right, man. You know, Yah by Shema Shah is going to have mercy upon him, man. You know, those that fear Yah by Shema Shah, the Lord is going to have mercy on him. You know, they're going to have that, that mark of exemption, man. You know, because they did what they were supposed to do while they had liberty, man. Because we fear you by Shimei al shot. You know? Mm hmm. That's right. Mm hmm. It's going to go well with them at the last. But those that don't fear the Lord, you know, other destruction is going to come to them by way of famine, martial law, right, troops, right. you know, uh, FEMA camps. Right. And, right. Yeah, race riots. Right. And ultimately, 200 million ICBM nuclear missiles, you right. know? That's right, brothers. That's right. Um, I can, get, I can get another one. This is uh, Sirach 19 and 18. 
the fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him mm. and wisdom obtain of his love. Right. See, that's what the fear of the Lord gets you, man. You know, to, to be in that mercy seat. You mm -hmm. know, read that scripture one more time, but that was a bad scripture. Okay, this is Sirach eight nine Sirach nineteen eighteen. The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him. Right. See, fearing Yahweh by Shimiah coming in his truth, man, fearing those names is the first step of being accepted of him, man. Step of getting more wisdom and knowledge and understanding, having the Lord keep you around, man. And ultimately have you endure to the end, man. See, this is what sincerely fearing Yahweh by Shimiah gets you, man. You in that mercy seat. You know what I'm saying? Deliverance. You know? Yah by Shema Shah protecting you. This is what the fear of the Lord gets you. You know? What else to say, brother? And it reads, and wisdom obtained his love. Mm. That's right, man. The more you feel Yah by Shema Shah, the more wisdom and knowledge and understanding you're going to obtain in his truth, man. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the scriptures say the most I love is none but them that dwell wisdom. That's right. I got one. Okay, what you got? All right, this is Proverbs chapter 10, verse 27. The fear. Of Yahweh, uh, prolong of days, mm -hmm. but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. All right, man. Oh, you got you got that one. Khan, yeah, it says the uh, read that from the top of Kasha. Khan, this is Proverbs chapter ten, verse twenty-seven. The fear of Yahweh, prolong of days. Yeah, because mm -hmm. well, you got a lot of our people committing wickedness. You know, mm -hmm. eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, all these abominable foods, mm -hmm. and where they catch out mm -hmm. high blood pressure, what they dying young. You know, That's right. So the right. fear of the Lord prolong of days, what? Because we're following the dietary law. Right. We're following the the commandments of the Lord. We're not being a gangster in the street. Right. You know these gangsters, well, they get shot down, fifteen, mm -hmm. sixteen years old. You know, because mm -hmm. they, um, you know, scriptures say he that lived by a sword shall also die yeah, by a sword. Yep. You know, so the fear of the Lord prolong of days. You know, ultimately that's also going to be in the kingdom. When what? When we have uh, when we are living forever, you know, yep. Lord's will be part of the elect. Have that eternal life, man, immortality. Mm-hmm. Time, one more time to come. Uh, this is Proverbs chapter 10, verse 27. The fear of Yahweh prolong your days. Mm hmm But the years of the wicked shall be shortened. Yeah, but the years of the wicked, two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans for committing all your abominations, you know, being a sodomite, catching an SCD, mm -hmm. you know, and now, now you're sick. Now you're um, taking meds. Now you're going to probably die very soon, you know? Mm-hmm. That you know, you're gonna die for all your wickedness you're committing. That's right. The Lord's gonna judge you, you know, either by either by giving you a, a plague, mm -hmm. you know, to where you die, uh, have a shorter life, you know, right. and it's uh long down and it's you know, it's uh it's a miserable life, or mm -hmm. the Lord's just gonna like, gun you down. That's right. You got any more? That's it on that. Kinda got one more scripture we can close it out. Yep. This is the book of Sirach, chapter twenty three, verse 27 and it reads and they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord mm -hmm. and there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandments of the Lord right see there ain't nothing better than taking here hey, hearkening to the word man you know because the brother just read hey, it prolongs your life man you know it it, it uh it, it has mercy upon you man Yahweh by Shemesh shall have mercy upon you by doing to the best of your ability. Read on, brother. Okay, I'm going to read it again. Yeah, read it again. This is Sirach, chapter 23, verse 27. And they that remain mm -hmm. shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord. Right. And that there is nothing sweeter mm -hmm. than to take heed unto the commandments of the Lord. Right, man. They that remain what? In this truth, man. You know? We know the mercy of Yah by Shemiah Shah. Know that it was better to go out there on the hollows and hedges and catch the head that we catch, you know what I'm saying, than to be destroyed along with these two thirds with a harsh judgment, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it ain't nothing better than hearkening to the words of Yah by Shemiah Shah to the best of our abilities, man. Ain't nothing sweeter than it, you know, because Yah by Shemiah Shah may have mercy upon you if he be of that number, the elect, man, because the elect is going to be doing what we're doing now, man, you yeah. know. That's so, right. Lord willing, we remain in this truth and be a part of that number. I got one more. You got one more? Yeah. Oh, Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. Mm -hmm. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Mm -hmm. That's it. So that was it? Oh, that, well, yeah, yeah. You know, if the fear of Yahweh by Shema Shah, once again, is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge and understanding, man. And the holy, which are the Israelites, man, are going to understand the truth, man. 
You know, that's the understanding. They're going to get the understanding of the Bible, man. How things are really supposed to be broke down, man. Starting off with our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone and down the younger brothers like us, man. You know, who sincerely fear the Lord, you know, and and preach this truth, man. That's right. You know, like that threw me off a little bit. There you go. But um, I was I was um gonna say through the spirit, you know, all hell's about to break loose in America, and you're gonna need this wisdom, you know. Right. The brothers who uh, um who chose to fear the Lord now before all hell's break loose, you know, and have gotten this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, you know, and uh, trying to the best of your abilities, mm -hmm. you know, to keep the law, statutes, commandments, you know, it's gonna go well with them at the last, you know. When all right. hell's breaking loose, they're gonna have the knowledge, they're gonna have the understanding. Right. You know, and the Lord is going to protect them. You know, the right. angel of the Lord can't encamp about them that fear him, you know, and right. deliver them out of their trouble. You know, right. that's what you got to know. That's, that's right. why it's time to fear the Lord, you know. Mm -hmm. right. you so, hey, you know, hey, with that, hey, Lord, with these brothers fed well through the spirit, man. You know, we're the GMS, right, North Carolina camp, GMS, you know, right, North Carolina. All right, before we close out, we want to give all honor and glory and praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, Bashem, Rakhakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this Bible 100% truth and rule well. Mm -hmm. And peace, blessings, and safety and mercy to the Yachims out there pushing the truth in the four corners of the earth in sincerity and the truth. With that, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.